Welcome back. On the morning show, we like to keep you up on the latest happening in Hollywood. Let's kick things off today by crossing the Walk of Fame because I'm calling it a superstar. Linda Carter is best known as TV's Wonder Woman. She was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame this week. Hundreds of superhero fans lined up just to catch a glimpse, hoping to get an autograph from the actress. Carter was wearing a black dress, heels, and diamonds. She thanked her fans for their loyalty, saying, quote, I have been in the entertainment industry for more than 50 years. Do the math. Acting, singing, and entertaining, I have loved it all. She continued saying, quote, I would be nowhere, nowhere without my wonderful fans, end quote. Now, Carter began singing when she was only 14 years old, performing at the Kennedy Center and the Jazz at the Lincoln Center, among other venues. She has released four albums. Those include Red, Rock, and Blues, released just last month. And some people are saying this celebrity split is a step down. Channing Tatum and Jenna Dewan are separating. And no, this isn't 21 Joke Street. Channing Tatum and Jenna Dewan Tatum say that they have decided to lovingly separate as a couple after nearly nine years of marriage. The couple broke the news in a joint Twitter post this week saying there are no salacious details behind the split. They say they are best friends who've decided their relationship has just run its course. The two met on the set of the 2006 dance movie Step Up and got married in 2009. They have a four-year-old daughter together and Tatum has starred in box office hits like Magic Mike and 21 Jump Street. And they say if the crown fits, wear it. And that's exactly what one soon-to-be royal is doing. Royal bride-to-be Meghan Markle will fall fair bid farewell to her acting career with on-screen wedding. Now, Markle plays lawyer Rachel Zane on the USA Network show Suits. In its season finale, her character finally ties the knot with her longtime love interest. The finale airs on April 25th. That's three and a half weeks later. Her wedding will be then, and she'll walk down the aisle with, for real, Prince Harry. She's retiring from acting in order to focus on her royal duties. And one film just keeps making roaring headlines, and everyone's marveling at it. Another milestone for Black Panther here. Marvel's mostly all-black superhero flick will become the first film to be shown publicly in Saudi Arabia in 35 years. Black Panther is the highest-grossing superhero film ever in North America, not accounting for inflation. And staying on the big screen, we've got to keep it down for this one. The Quiet Place is in theaters. It stars Emily Blunt and John Krasinski. They're married in real life, if you didn't know. But in the movie, their family is forced to live in silence while hiding from creatures that hunt by sound. They even put sand on the ground to stay silent. Looks pretty scary. Now, A Quiet Place was one of the films our resident film critic Chuck and I talked about earlier this morning. To check out what we had to say about that film, head to our website. That's Illinois Homepage. Dot net. We'll be right back.